Hello, my name is Alicia Balda Ramos Peoples. Uh, I've been styling hair for about 18 years now. I've been licensed as a stylist and 17 years licensed as an educator. Um, I love styling hair, but it gives me a great joy to help people understand how to style hair and then when they get it, right? It's such a beautiful thing. So okay. we're doing a graduated head form on, on Debbie today. I have two subsections. I've subsectioned the hair from the front hairline to the nape. Uh, I'm utilizing diagonal forward subsections. And I have Debbie's head position in a forward tilt. Uh, the reason why I tilted her head forward is so that I can get this first section, which is gonna be our guide for the haircut, as close to her neckline as possible, okay? So I'm gonna use a parallel finger angle so I'm gonna hold my finger parallel to the subsection that I've created, to the diagonal forward. Okay. All right. Of course, you wanna assure that you keep and maintain a good saturation on your hair while doing your haircut. So let's make sure we saturate properly. All right, now let's go in. making sure that I comb all of the hair to make sure I have absolute control. I wanna to try to bring the hair as close to the nape as possible. And in this haircut, we wanna keep some of her length in the front. So I don't, I don't wanna go up too high and have too steep of a, of a um, angle for this uh, graduated cut, okay? So here, let me turn to the GC. Finger position parallel to the paw. Make sure all of the hairs are doing what you want them to do. All right, that way. I'm gonna cut in this direction, palm to palm, making sure that I have control of the hair as well as my shear. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Okay, let's move on to the other side. have the same finger position checking for my guide here finger position is in the same angle with the with my part okay palm to palm let's check for balance this side slightly longer let's go back Now we're there, found it. All right, there we go. Let's go up, next section, diagonal part, forward. Clip this hair out of my way. All right, now when we move forward, I'm gonna make sure that you can see my parts properly. All right, there we go. So when I pull this next section, I'm gonna raise a little bit of my guide from the previous section up so that I can see the length of hair that I need to cut, okay? Here we go. All right, subsection. Fingers parallel with the part, all right? I don't wanna have too much tension on the hair. Sure that I can grab it. Can I see my guide? There's your guide. Okay, so we're back. Um, let's, let's review what we've done already. Initially, we started, our projection for this outcome is to do a nice uh, 
graduated form on Debbie. Then we're gonna to proceed to do a hair color, which is five five stroke four six. Um, we're using an intense light brown, and we're gonna add some red with a contributing violet to it. So that's five five stroke four six. Um, and then we're gonna go on and style her out using the Imi products. Okay. So here we are. We're ready for our hair color application. Um, I have mixed here again five five stroke four six, which is a light brown intense color that has contrib that has um, red with a contributing violet to it. Okay, I'm utilizing ten volume because we're only depositing here for um for today's hair color procedure. Right now, I have the existing colors. Uh, I have the existing levels of four here at the regrowth. And I have like a five and a six that come down the hair shaft, okay? So I'm utilizing this level five and we're just gonna deposit on what we have here, all right? So the first step of our service is we're gonna apply service around the hairline to protect our client's skin, okay? Don't forget the tops of the ears. All right, so we're ready. Okay. Now we're ready to apply our color. Again, this is 10 volume, so it's deposit only. I'm gonna utilize the application of virgin tent to dark. Okay. When you apply, and also I'm utilizing Colestin Perfect with 10 volume. Colestin has a thick consistency. When you apply this product to the hair, you wanna assure that your brush is parallel to the hair strand. If your brush is upright, you're gonna remove more product and you're not gonna get as good of a saturation as you will if you apply the hair product in this manner. See? Again, apply my product parallel to the hair strand to assure that I have really good saturation. Colestin Perfect is a one-to-one -one ratio and again, I'm using five, five stroke four, six, which is an intense level five. Um, my four is my red and the six is a violet um, contribution. All right, again, virgin tint to dark is my application. We have a 40 minute processing time with Colestin. We're not worried about covering up any grays. That's another reason why we use 10 volume for deposit only. Fortunately, Debbie doesn't have grays. guys we're back so we've um, rinsed out the product so let's review what we've done we came in we did a graduated form on Debbie uh, we used um, diagonal forward subsections we pulled everything back we found our subsection we found our guide and we cut to it all right so now we're here at the, the point we did a hair color we did five five stroke four six through Wella with cholesterol perfect utilizing 10 volume um, and so we let that process for 40 minutes and then we rinse Debbie's hair 
and we applied service post-treatment and we let that process for five minutes. After the post-treatment process, we went in, we utilized our All Reflections by Wella. It's a great product for um, smoothing the hair shaft. It's great. It smooths the hair shaft, allowing the hair color to be more vibrant. Um, it's a very great product. I totally love it. And there's also an elixir, deep conditions that are um, available through that line also. Okay, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to blow dry um, Debbie and style her out. Here with me, I'm, I have root shoot. We're going to go in. I'm going to put a little root shoot at her root area, and we're going to dry her um, so that she can have a little volume in the root area. But then we're going to go in and we're going to flat iron her shaft, okay? All right? So the way you apply root shoot, I've towel blotted the hair to get most the majority of the, the moisture out of it, the, the dampness, okay? I'm going to go in, subsection the hair, and uh, this product has a great nozzle on it for precision application, if you can see it here. Precision application. In addition, it has a level two holding ability, okay? So it has a level two hold in reference to style, okay? So put a little there. All right, so what you do is you subsection the hair and you just wanna apply one spray um, to the regrowth area. Do the same on the other side. Then, product, 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 all right. I'm gonna utilize my comb to comb that product through the hair. It has, it's so vibrant due to the post-treatment and oil reflections conditioner. All right, so comb the product through the hair. Okay. I have my blow dryer. I'm gonna blow dry the hair and I'm gonna utilize my fingers to lift the hair at the root, okay? To give us some volume here and dry the hair shaft, okay? I have my blow dryer on medium heat and medium airflow. Let's retract what we've done so far. Uh, we came back, uh, we, we, rent, we rinsed uh, Debbie's hair out, the five, five stroke four six. We applied uh, service post-treatment and let that de develop for five minutes. And what post-treatment does, it enhances the beauty of your color. It enhances the, the intensity of your color, okay? So after the post-treatment, we move forward and utilize oil reflections conditioner. Um, and now here at the styling step, we've utilized root shoot at the regrowth area at the root to give that volume. And now we're gonna proceed and I'm gonna utilize a little bit of oil reflections, one to two pumps. I'm gonna rub it through my hands. You see the product here? I'm gonna rub it through my hands, okay? And I'm gonna begin in the back area, right in this area by her occipital to apply the product. I'm gonna apply the product from here to distribute through the hair. Okay, going forward, and then this product still on my hands. I'm gonna rub it together, and then I'm gonna do the same thing towards the back. All right. So the reason why I chose to come from the occipital area is because. There's a lot of hair in this area. A lot of people have the most uh, density in this area of their head. And it, and it, uh, it also, I didn't want to, to unload the majority of the product around her face or her hairline where to get on her skin. And then in turn, now your client feels like she needs another shampoo. Okay. All right. So now we have the product on. And as you can see, my hands are still shiny. So I still have a little product on my hand. Okay. 
utilizing my flat iron on a 350 setting. And here to finish off, I'm going to use a little bit of oil spritz again by Imy. It has a level one hold, so it's pretty much shine here. All right, just spritzing a little bit. Thank you guys for spending time with me. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope that I can hear from you guys soon, okay? Have a great one. See you soon. Thank you.